This valley is vast. We should get to a vantage point if we want to find this expedition. A bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! Poison on my blade. Then let's go! Poison on my blade. Then let's go! Over there. Tents. This must be the expedition's camp. It's not look in very good condition. Let's have a closer look. Signs of combat. They were attacked. By the look of the tents and the campfire, it dates back several days. It seems that they were taken prisoner. I don't see any bodies. No weapon leaves this sort of marking. Perhaps they're wielding magic. Yes. It is the art of the Donegada. One of the Valley clans was here. Would you know which one? 
One who fights against the invasion of the peoples from your island. I can be sure of nothing more. Why would they attack scholars? They are not warriors. They come here as conquerors. This is enough. But they were not killed. Warriors would have been. This looks like scientific equipment. This must be the Lost Expedition's campsite. This looks like the journal of a naturalist. There are sketches of flora and fauna. There is no doubt, we are definitely on the trail of the Lost Expedition. It seems that one of the team kept a distance from the others. Let's see what we can discover. A trail of blood. That cannot be good. Follow it. blood. We are on the right path. Keep going. A corpse. The clothes cannot be mistaken. It is a scholar of the Bridge Alliance. From the looks of him, I would say he has been dead for days, as we already thought. This isn't the woman whose journal we found. There is still a chance that she remains alive. This man traded his life for all the suffering of my people. He was only a scholar, a sage, not a warrior on the battlefield. Do you think my people see a difference when bridgemen steal our people from their beds? From who do you think? All the clans hide dead children. I have heard stories from the natives describing bridger atrocities. If they are true, this violent attack, though tragic, would be justified. I'll search the body. We might find something to help us understand. isolated camp mentioned in the journal. Everything is in order, but the inhabitants are no longer here. Its position would have allowed them to escape the attack. It's like being in a crow's nest. The view we have over the valley is an ideal observation point. It is a journal, that of a woman from the expedition, a certain Afra. She speaks of their research and relates here that she felt watched. She feared an attack was brewing. I believe she was right. The writing stops in mid-sentence. Let's hope she's still alive, as well as her colleagues, or our mission will be a short one. We must follow the tracks of the attack. They will surely lead us to the party of intrepid scholars. This woman was right to fear the Donea Exregal. They must have followed this path coming from the swamp. This is where we should go if we want to find these lion scholars.
We won't let you take us. We will not kneel down without a fight. Wait. We have no desire to fight you. We only want to find the Lion Sages. They are not warriors, but their chief is ready to send an army of warriors to liberate them. If you help us bring them back, you will save your tribe from a costly battle in lives. He speaks truly. Look, one of them is already eager to bring Lion Warriors back to us. All we wanted was for them to tell us where our brothers are being kept. What good is this if we must leave our camp behind? Very well. Stay away from the main entrance. Our guards will not welcome your arrival. Pass around. There is a smaller entrance hidden there. The lions are kept in a home in ruins. There must be a key somewhere to open the door, but I know not where it is kept. What is your intended purpose? We were sent to look for you. Apologies, but allow me to express my doubts. After this little swim, you could always try to pull the trigger. Who sent you to find me? We were not looking for you in particular, but the entire expedition. It was Governor Burham who asked us to find you. He is worried about you. You haven't been reporting. You should have said that straight away. I must admit, I was hoping for a rescue of a different nature. Do you have a name? De Sarde. I'm from the congregation. Hmm, the new governor's cousin. Who wears an islander face. I've heard stories about you. And them? Captain Vasco. Though I realize I am quite far from the sea. I am Siora, daughter of Bladnid. From the people that your own capture and torture. I've never taken anyone. On the contrary, we had hoped to exchange our knowledge with your own. This is a rather odd group. I am Afra, a scholar from the Bridge Alliance. 
It is rather rare to find me rolling in the marshes. I study the fauna and flora of this isle. I should imagine you have many questions. We saw the site where you were attacked. What exactly happened? We were taken by surprise. One moment everything was calm, and the next a war party of natives fell upon us. I had an uneasy feeling and kept myself apart, but when I heard my fellow scholars' shouts, I rushed over. Most of my companions are incapable of defending themselves, and we didn't have guards to protect us. One of them tried to flee, or they brought him down. We decided to give ourselves up to avoid a massacre. What has happened since the attack? How long have you been in these marshes? We were taken prisoner and were brought to a village nearby. I was able to escape while the others were taken to a house that they use as a prison. I wanted to join the Bridge Alliance frontier post not far from here, but I wasn't able. So I doubled back to keep watch of the village from a distance. I have been hoping to find a way to free my companions without any success so far. Have you made progress in your search for a cure? Hmm. We were studying some quite remarkable plants when we were attacked. The region is rife in unknown and novel species. Some seem incredibly promising. The local shamans know all these plants and they use them in their remedies. If only we had been able to converse with them rather than getting ourselves captured. Could you lead us to the village where your colleagues are being held prisoner? Certainly. We are, oh, so very close. And I fully intend to participate in this rescue. I'm not one to sit around and twiddle thumbs. This is where the natives took your colleagues? Yes, it is here. These ruins are being used as a camp by the native raiders. There are so many of them. Better to remain discreet. I have spied on the camp and discovered where my colleagues are being held. They are being kept in the old walls of the main ruin. I would rather avoid unwarranted deaths. We should wait until nightfall and look around the camp to find a more discreet way to get inside. Indeed, it would be wiser than trying to get in through the gate.
Fled as they were about to lock my companions inside a cell. We're going to need a key. Please, oh no, Manawi. Let's try to avoid the boy.
bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! That you come quickly we don't have much time thank you for your help do not thank me yet we are still in a shipload of danger I must find a way to get out of this valley without putting my companions in danger. Poison on my blade. Then let's go! <gasps> <Let's run! Grenade! laughs> mercy, you have defeated us. Spare us our lives. If you spare them, they will only hunt us down until we are all dead. No, you have our word. We have been bested. We will let you move on in peace. How can we trust you? You attacked our camp when we were not even armed. They are savages. They had us caged like beasts. We only sought to learn where you have caged our people. Spared their lives, I beg you. They were only fighting to save the lives of those that have disappeared. Very well. Leave, and I hope you keep your word. 
Thank you, Honor Manawi. I have spoken, and I will honor my words, Kwa Awalamseg. We are no longer in danger. Thank you for your help, Dasade. I must admit, the reasons for my being here are not entirely selfless. Your research to find a remedy against the Malachor could save many lives in our cities as well. You speak like a true woman of science. Cut to the point. Then you'll be thrilled. Your heroic efforts to save us from those savages could help. We've made a discovery. Is that right? In that case, we need to speak with Governor Burham immediately. Very well. I'll accompany you. <sighs> Let's be off. Lady de Sade, and our expedition. I thank you sincerely for having brought them back, Your Excellency. You are a providential woman. <laughs> Please, sir. It was you who convinced me and my cousin of the capital importance of their research. A research that has borne fruit, Your Excellency. Truly? This is excellent news. You have found a plant with sufficient properties? Uh, not exactly. Know that during our captivity, an island woman visited the camp. The natives called her Tiena Hak Kadactus and treated her with utmost reverence. I heard them talk about a remedy, a universal remedy, it seemed, that she had concocted. How's that? Liamatra did nice them? Huh. Well, I grasped the basic of the local tongue and I am certain to have heard the word yag. Remedy. Surprising. But the Tiernahach is very powerful and very wise. It is possible that she did craft such a remedy. <laughs> <laughs>